Listen to me. First, the worst. Second, the best. Third, the one with the golden chest. Now, this is a urgent prophetic word for somebody. And, you know, it's not for everybody. And you must test the spirit behind every single prophetic word, including mine. But if you was led to click on this video, I want you guys to know that it is not by coincidence, okay? God is reaching you. Now, this word says, okay, somebody is very angry. Okay, somebody is very angry with you, okay? And this is because of your money. And this is because of your assignment. Now, I want you guys to know that this word is not just for one person, it is for many, okay? And I pray right now in the name of Jesus that by the spirit of the living God, by the spirit of rev revelation, okay, you will receive that direct word, that direct confirmation and that, that, that direct instruction, okay, that the Lord has for you in this hour and in this season of your life, okay? Um... Also, guys, um, I want you to know that these words that I release are eternal and they may not apply to your life today, but they may just give you, you know, understanding and clarity on something that has already happened. And it may just give you, you know, wisdom, knowledge and understanding of something that is to come. So, you know, always be willing to listen to the word of God because, you know, it will, it will always give you life and life more abundantly. And, you know, I just encourage everybody to um, feed into this word as much as you possibly can. Um, I encourage you guys to sm smash the like button, okay? You know, encourage, 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 listen to me. Just smash the like button, okay? Just smash it because, you know, by you liking the video, you are pushing out the word for somebody else so that they too can be blessed. And, you know, if you are new, you know, connect with this, this ministry, subscribe to my channel. I invite you guys to become a follower of this ministry, okay? A part of this tribe. And, you know, um, comment down below and connect with this word in the comment section guys at least three times you know connect with this prayer connect with this prophecy um we are going somewhere guys um i want to say thank you to everybody who is consistent in feeding into this ministry commenting liking because you are you know really you know giving back to the lord in the same way that i am you are blessing this ministry you are you know adding to the movement of god and you know i just pray that the lord continues to bless you and increase you forever in Jesus' mighty name but listen to me guys i don't want to make this too long but um please guys position yourself in a place of service of giving be willing to watch this video until the end okay um because you will be blessed and you know that seed of you know time right time is money at the end of the day that seed of time will you know produce a uh, beautiful harvest okay so be willing to watch this until the end um but also just ensure that you are you know not just sacrificing your time but whatever the lord puts on your spirit to do comment share this with somebody you know some of you guys will be led to sow into this world with a financial seed okay um always position yourself in a place of you know giving but listen to me somebody is very angry with you okay somebody is a very angry with you okay they are angry they are irritated they are intimidated okay thank you holy spirit why because of your money and because of your assignment now, the person who this word is for, okay, and it is very specific, but, you know, within this word, there will be a word for many. So, you know, by the spirit of revelation, I pray that you receive that word. But just remember that we prophesy in part and, you know, by the spirit of the living God, he will complete it. So, you know, be open, okay, and make sure that you guys are, I pray that the Lord, you know, opens your ears to hear this word and, you know, opens your eyes to see his will and his desires for you too but um this person is very angry at you okay and you know this may not just be one person it may be a few people in your life but they are currently very intimidated by your presence okay by your presence and you can sense this you can feel this and you know this person is you know angry okay they're very angry because 
they feel like you have come to take something away from them you know they are convinced that you are a thief okay they are convinced that you are you know you are a thief you are going to creep up behind them and you know take something that belongs to them and you know the truth of the matter is this okay you are you know highly anointed okay if this word is for you and the lord has actually anointed you to break you know generational curses you know in your bloodline okay but not just that he has anointed you to you know to go into the darkness and take back you know that wealth that is rightfully yours okay the bible says that you know the wealth of the righteous is, is, is stored up in the hands of the wicked and you know for some of you this is um in your workplace okay you are seeing this you are seeing you know the manifestation of the enemy your boss your manager you know has started to act very strange towards you okay even though you bring you know you bring value even though you give more than most people in your workplace even though you are prospering you know your team and the people around you your 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 manager your boss is very angry okay and you know they may not be acting like this boldly and they may not even you may not have noticed up until now but just listen to me okay they are very angry okay somebody in your life is very angry for some of you this may not be your boss but this may be your mother this may be your father okay this is your mother this is your father it could be your grandparents okay and for some of you this may be um this may be somebody that you have met okay somebody that you have met somebody that um you are blessing okay you are blessing you're blessing them you are um you are feeding life into them okay um but they are angry they're furious okay the lord is saying spirit of rage spirit of fury for some of you this is the parents of your partner okay or the grandparents of your partner or the auntie or the uncle of your partner there is somebody who is angry and the reason that they are angry is because of this okay when you met this person okay there was a shift in the spirit the Lord is saying to me, okay, the Lord put this word on my spirit last night. He said, first the worst, second the best, third the one with the golden chest. This place where you are at right now, okay, or this person where you are at right now is not the first place or the first person, okay, that has been similar to this situation, if that makes sense, okay. The first position, okay. But this is God's will for your life. You are walking in God's will for your life. This is, you know, your destiny. This is what God has ordained for you. And, you know, through meeting this person, through, you know, stepping your foot in this place, right? You have gained favour, okay? in the sight of God and you have a door has been opened in the spirit in the realms of the spirit something has been unlocked for you to receive that wealth transfer okay and you know you have been ordained to break you know a generational curse okay you know for your bloodline okay but you have also been ordained to bring wealth to many okay many and um the devil is angry there's the manifest you what you are experiencing right now or what you are about to experience okay or what you have experienced already this is the manifestation of the enemy okay this is the manifestation of the enemy you know these spirits that have been you know these spirits that have been um these familiar spirits these spirits of poverty, these spirits of lack, right? These spirits of, you know, and by the way, I'm speaking about your money, but some of you have been ordained to break other curses, right? So these spirits that you see manifesting that are angry is because that you have been sent to break a curse, okay? And, you know, the person, the vessel, the auntie, the mother, the mother of your, your, your partner, you know, the... Um, 
the the friend you know the business partner they don't understand what's going on okay they are they don't have the discernment that you have right now okay they don't know why they are angry and in fact there's a lot of witchcraft coming against them right now because you are no longer bound to the enemy so these spirits their devil has to attack the people around you in order to work against you in order to work against god's will for your life now listen to me and listen to me very carefully okay because you see this time around okay this time around things are going to be very different okay this time around okay cycles are going to be broken cycles are already being broken okay thank you holy spirit cycles are already being broken okay and you know you've had to endure some suffering some persecution some some um some slandering okay some attacks in order to you know gain you know that value gain that pressure okay you know you bring pressure okay and this is why the people around you are intimidated because of your anointing okay and um the lord is putting on my spirit to tell you that you know when you see these people rising up against you accusing you you know slandering you acting funny around you you know working against what god is telling you to do see this as a sign see this as um, a confirmation that you know you are in the right place and you are you are in divine timing because the reason that these that demons these spirits are manifesting through these people is because they don't want you to be in that place they don't want you to be with that person connected to that person right because you have been called to be a blessing in that place you have been called to you know break cycles of lack and of poverty in that place okay you have been called to um you know bring life in that place and you know demons will manifest before they leave okay demons will manifest before they leave and they will do everything in their power to you know to stop you from carrying out the will of god to stop you from standing firm on the word of God and to stop you from walking in, in your authority. But today the Lord is saying to carry on walking in your authority, carry on following the instructions that I have given you. Now, I want you to know that, you know, the soul, okay, the flesh, okay, the flesh, thank you, Holy Spirit, the flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit lusts against the flesh you see in this season of your life when you are experiencing these things right somebody is not happy that you actually want to bless somebody is angry who you actually want to help okay listen to me for real your fleshly nature is going to want to you know please these people okay your fleshly nature is going to want to obey you know certain people that you know may be positioned higher than you physically okay but the spirit is going to tell you to do the right thing the spirit is going to tell you to act on the truth the spirit may tell you to leave that place and you know leave that place okay after a while okay or the spirit may tell you to you know this the, the holy spirit is going to give you a specific instruction after watching this video and you know your feelings right your feelings your um your mind and your will okay your will is not going to you know submit straight away to the spirit there is going to be you know division you know the spirit lusts against the flesh and the flesh lusts against the spirit so i want you guys to know that it's very important that you are positioned in a place of wanting to give to God, you know, submission to God and obedience to God rather than submission to, you know, 
a person or a situation or a thing that you are working on even if it is something that god has revealed to you through a promise or through a vision okay even if he has given you a vision even if he has told you something or showed you something right it doesn't mean that you you act according to yourself and act according to what you think is right or act according to what you feel like is going to you know help because God's ways is not our ways and you know the Bible says that we should trust in the Lord with all our heart and do not lean on our own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight listen to me for real you see it's very important that you learn to let people down okay because sometimes in life when people are dragging you down okay you can't fall for them okay you can't fall for them you can't you know fall to be with them fall to stand with them while trying to bring them up you can stand firm for them but that means that you remain firm on the word of God because if you continue to walk in obedience with the living God they will see the revelation of God they will see the light okay but if you feed into the darkness if you feed into their confusion right if you feed into the witchcraft that is attacking them if you feed into the anger it is giving the enemy power to stop you and to block you from carrying out the will of God so that I, I pray today in the name of Jesus that you have the strength to let go of what you need to let go of and surrender to the living God completely in this hour okay I pray that the Lord gives you discernment to discern you know what is actually happening behind the scenes um listen to me for real the Lord has anointed you to break generational curses, okay, generational curses in your bloodline, but he has also anointed you to bring wealth to many, okay, he has connected you to a specific person to bless them, okay, to bless them, to feed life into them, you know, and, you know, the enemy is interfering, okay, through any vessel that he can and you know it's very important that you see this as confirmation to continue to submit to god and continue to follow him don't come into covenant with bondage don't co come into covenant with the fact that you are stuck sometimes the enemy will take everything from you in order for you to believe in order for you to believe that God has not made a way for you to be free. But you must remember that Jesus Christ died for our sins so that we can have eternal life and not perish. So no matter what you do, no matter what sin you have made, no matter what your situation is, there will always be a way for you to move forward. He has made He has made a way for, for us to grow and to prosper and to receive eternal life. This means that he is going to increase you forever and prosper you forever. And it's very important that you walk by faith and not by sight, regardless of what you can see in this physical realm okay in this physical dimension you know you must you know you must you know hold that vision right hold that vision hold on to what the lord has shown shown you and hold on to that promise and you know walk in obedience with him now i love you guys so so much i do okay um if you guys are led to sow into this with a financial seed okay i encourage you guys to do so i pray over every seed that the lord will multiply a hundred times fold and he will um if you guys cannot sow financially please guys ensure that you just you know connect with this word with a seed or you know a seed in the comment section you know comment down below connect make a connection to this word guys make a connection to this word today because you see the lord is saying that you are going to bring wealth you are receiving wealth as i release this word you are receiving a transfer of wealth there is a door that has been opened for you okay and you want to connect with this word as much as you possibly can in order for this to you know come to pass in order to receive this word okay in order to you know fully you know come into covenant with this word because it's important that you're positioned in that place of surrender and sacrifice because you know the, the um the flesh will lust against the spirit okay you know you won't feel like doing it you you don't you don't you haven't you know come up with 
the plan to, to do it in this hour, right? You know, some of you guys don't want to give. You'd rather be watching Netflix, right? Some of you guys don't want to spend the time to comment, you know, the revelation that you got because you want to be, you know, satisfied elsewhere, satisfying your, yourself, okay? Some of you guys don't want to sow a seed because you want to go and buy something else, okay? But that's why, listen to me for real. When the Holy Spirit gives you an instruction, okay, it's going to go against your flesh, right? But God's will for you is always better than the will that you have for yourself. And it, it actually increases your, your, your spiritual senses. It, it puts you in a position of receiving life. It puts you in a position of, you know, acting quickly on what God is telling you to do. You see, by some of you guys sowing into this message, you are going to be you know you are going to be placed in a positioned in a place where god will give right because he knows that you are not attached to you know the world and these physical things and he will give you you know a revelation that will bring you know millions of pounds listen to me for real i'm prophesying to somebody right now so ensure that if you are led by the spirit of the living god the spirit of god you know, the truth, right? And not your feelings, not your, your will and your desires. Ensure that you do act on that, okay? And don't don't wait because you don't want to give the devil time to, you know, interfere and to cause delay. Now, I love you guys so, so much, okay? Um, honestly, I love you with all my heart. If you guys are new, ensure that you smash that subscribe button and um, go and watch the last few videos, guys. Let's get the algorithm, algorithming, okay? Love you so much. Peace, love and blessing. Shalom.